I don't even have like a stupid joke to start this chapter off with. Uh, I tried. I tried. There's no, there's no joke. This chapter was no joke. I loved, I loved it. One Punch Man, 103. Not for your viewing pleasure, no. Viewer prohibited battle. <sighs> this was, uh, this was good. This was good. Actually, before I start talking about 103, I want to talk about 102, the revised version, because not only did Murata give us this, he also actually went back and redid the other chapter, and for 102, revised, I think if you haven't read it, I imagine, let's face it, 99% of you have probably read it, but if you're the 1% who's like, nah, I don't need to, go back and read it, because if that chapter, you like that chapter, it just makes it better. Like, some stuff he uses, reuses drawings for, which is obviously okay, um, because let's face it, he, he gave us this, and then he went and was like, nah, I can make the old one better at the same time. Um, most importantly, uh, just quickly, I'm just gonna do a quick thing about the last chapter, um, the revised version just made it better. In particular, the fight between them. Before the fight even starts, Eiyan is like, okay, we can disable these guys' uh, suits and we can stop them without actually harming them. And I was like, okay, so, like, that was, to me, that was implied last chapter, but he just makes it clear. Um, and more than anything, we get to see what the three swordsmen can do. And they're all really sick, to be honest. They're all really good. And I'm not surprised, because Eiyan, like, I like Eiyan, but we get to see why he's, like, kind of, why he's S, why, why he's A rank 2. It's just... That moment, like, uh, first of all, one of the best things about it is obviously, like, the redone art for the fight as well. So, like, that angle where Elon's charging and he slices up the bullets. And we kind of get a little glimpse into a sort of Atomic Samurai's training methods as well. Because he's, he's very coming uh, in the sense of he's like, you know, oh, what, how do you beat bullets that go faster than you? Simply. Just go, simply. <laughs> Simple. Just go faster than them. And that's how he works, I imagine. It was good. I liked that scene where he slices up the gun and attacks him. Uh, Bushy Drill, we get to see what his sword does finally. And it is, surprise, surprise, just it's a, it turns into a big old drill. And it's really cool because he dices up those weapons and kind of is, like, actually, Bushy Drill's my favourite of the three. Um, and... I do like, I like his attitude, he was like, I have no fear of a sword that has no will behind it, that has no mind behind it, like, I, I was like, okay, because obviously, like, he's, like, these aren't true warriors to him, and I do like that kind of attitude for him, and Okomotachi, who has kind of been on the sidelines throughout all this, because, you know, Eiyan's the one we've seen the most of, and Bushidrilla, I think, has the best design, and Okomotachi kind of, like, sat on the side, but Okomotachi, she probably has the, the best powers, and I know Okomotachi's a guy, but I'm guessing she identifies as a girl, modern era, B A R B B A R B I E. Um, yeah, the moment like she's like, "How will I deal with you?" I know, and she launches like sword beams. I'm like, "All right, you you might have actually the best power out of the three of them." Like I like call it sword bushy drill, but like best techniques. I mean, sword beams. I don't the fight some energy waves. I do I do like that a lot though. That was really good. It also kind of re goes. Uh, it also goes over the uh, my mask stuff as well. So obviously my mask catches it, and then he kind of explains a bit more like well like his reasoning on how hypnosis works, and I do quite like his argument for it because he goes well you know, it's induced by pain, so if I don't feel pain, you can't hypnotize me. So maybe that's what it is, so maybe you have to be like at a certain level. So like if you're weaker, or you're um, physically weaker, it's not going to harm, it's uh, it's going to affect you. But in comparison to someone like a my mask, who I assumed it was because he was wearing a glove, so it didn't make contact with his skin, but I'm wrong on that. So, for example, someone like obviously Saitama or Darkshine. Darkshine like, wouldn't be affected by this at all because of his crazy defense. Uh, yeah. And I was like, okay, that makes perfect, like, this is, like, I like that little explanation. They didn't have to do, like I said, he didn't have to do 102, I enjoyed 102, but he just went made it all the better. The fight was better, everyone, like, the art was, like, the new, like, the new designs, not the new designs, the new panels were better. We'll see more of the samurai. <sighs> let's talk about, let's talk about 103 now. So, first of all, I want to talk about the cover, because the swordsmen look amazing. They are looking sharp. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. I understand if you click away now. Uh, I didn't think I'd make a joke. Any case, the swordsman, as I, as I tried to say, look great. Like, that's such a good bit of cover art. Um, like, and like I said, I think Bushy Draw looks the best, but Yain, Yain looks amazing with the suit and the coat over, carrying the sword. I'm like, he looks like a proper boss. And you got, I gotta be honest, I will put it up. The detail Murata put in was sick because I. I didn't notice it, it was literally, Murata put it out on Twitter, like, look what I did, kind of thing. Is like, Eiyan's cufflinks on his, on his, uh, shirt. 
their their one's face, I believe. That's like one's um that's like how one looks when he draws himself. If not, it's Saitama, I'm, but I'm fairly sure it's one. I'm fairly sure it's one. Just the detail was... Oh, it's beautiful. I'm gonna talk about Pig God first. Cause I'm my masculine, alright? Pig God uh, was really interesting, to be honest. I don't really know, like, how to describe... I didn't expect that, Pig God. I expected it just to, like... I expect it to cut back. First of all, with both of these, like, kind of what we got this, I expect it to cut back, like, and then maybe, like, it wasn't there. Maybe there was just, like, he was gonna let a burp, he had some mess around his mouth. Didn't expect Pig God to grow to like a big old giant man and like eat him. So like the question obviously with Pig God's abilities are like does he have to digest it before he can move again or is this like part of his size? Because obviously maybe this is how he beats opponents, he uses massive weight to crush people. Similar to how Dave did back in the in the Super Fight arc. Maybe it's something like that. I think that would, um, I don't know, like, he's a bit of a mystery at this point, Pig God, still. Like, he's got, we can at least kind of get glimpses of what he's going to do, but I am actually looking forward to seeing him fight. He's one of actually, probably one of the most mysterious S-classes, because we've at least seen the abilities of all the others, apart from maybe Dark Shine, apart from obviously his defense. I'm thinking, is there any, uh, Blast, of course, that, that's not talking about Blast, but you know what I mean. Like, I'm very curious to see how he holds up in a fight, because obviously, he just ate, a uh, great food tub, but like, what's he gonna do against an actual opponent who tries to fight him? Is he just going to squash them, or is it like, you know, his fat absorbs them into like his attack so he can like eat them at that point too? Yeah, super impressive stuff. And then, oh my mask, oh, more like, oh my mask, <laughs> that should have been the joke. <laughs> Stop looking for jokes and review, you fool! Yeah, so the fight starts with some, like, the first page just after the cover is some, uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's a little bit of, uh, it's a little bit of fan service. Just a touch. You can barely notice it. It's, uh, it's, like, in the corner. It's her basically kind of coming out to him and going, like, oh, actually, but seriously, though, I'm a big fan of yours. You're, you're so handsome. Uh, and it's this whole kind of big reveal, like, let's play together, and I get it, like, that was supposed to be a shocking moment, like, the moment she takes off her mask, and she's got that, like, massive tongue under there, she's like, why don't we spend some quality time, and that would have been, it made me go, oh no, if I hadn't been spoiled on the tongue already, because, but Murata already revealed it before, and in the podcast, I'm a regular guest on the One Punch Man podcast, um, we actually, we, like, we looked at this, and I, and it's, it's interesting, but I didn't think we'd ever see it, but it would be a shame not to show that without that. Uh, so yeah, you might want to check that out at some point. Oh, what's that? That was a plug. And the whole point of that tongue bit really is more than anything to go, if you thought there was mercy before, if you thought there was a chance of like, any kind of mercy, you are wrong. And that is because there are two things that a mind mask hates. He hates monsters, and he hates ugliness. And the fact that she took off her mask and like she, cause let's face it, it's, it's like an attractive world, but she took off the mask and she had like the wicked like, the scent, like the, 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 the gross tongue underneath. And my mask just kind of like, he's like, you dare try and speak to me, you ugly monster. Like I was like, okay, it's going down. And this is like another reason why I think my mask is going to be such a, this whole chapter is pretty much a big reason of why my mask is going to be such a problem in the future too. Because, you know, he's shown these traits of a monster and, you know, he hates ugliness and our, and our boy, like, like, I can make a vi like, question. If I was to make a video on my mask and why I think he's a big problem in the future and his, his idea, my ideas against him, like, in the future, would you like that? Because I don't know when I'd make it if I did, but if you'd like it, I'd at least like to know someone would watch it. <laughs> um, but, you know, obviously, like, his whole ideas of ugliness and, you know, the fact is, our boy Saitama, he's, he's pretty, like, you know, he's, I mean, like, let's face it, he can, he can look like this, like, 5% of the time, but the other nice 5% of the time, he's like that. And that's who he is, and I, that's why I think there's going to be, like, issues and every Like, right, in any case, I just thought I was, like, really showing, like, of his attitude. And I think just even, like, the small touches, like, that was, like, even that point of, uh, like, the three swordsmen, like, as they run off, like, oh, how's he going to be him? We don't know. Maybe, like, and a common touch, like, maybe it'll be, like, a song and dance number he'll do, because he's a celebrity. And, like, obviously, I think it just builds up, like, these ideas. It's all the small stuff, like, we know that it's going to be bad. But the fact that even just like the characters, it's always like little touches like, they're like, oh maybe it'll be nice and it'll be like this and it'll be like this, but maybe there's reasons he can't show it to us, I don't know. And they like, they expect the best of him because of his attitude and like who he is. Just that moment. That, it was, it was amazing. I loved it. I, it was great. It was great. That moment where they all charge. They all charge at my mask and he's no mercy. The veins show up everywhere. The mask has come off. And he blitz.
this is for it's not even brutal. It's a massacre. It is a massacre. It is the only way to uh, a massacre is to indiscriminately kill people. And my mass didn't care about them. He didn't care that they were human. He didn't care that they were under control. All destroyed. Now, one of the things from the last chapter they pointed out was obviously this whole idea of like you know, this, like the the so the suits are made of a really tough steel. Like that sort of that like obviously Okomotachi and um, Iron and Bushi Drill couldn't cut through. They were that strong. And obviously we know Amai Mask is about S class level in reality, but he stays at A class to kind of keep an eye on things. But just ah. Oh. I thought we cut. I didn't. First of all, I should admit I was wrong because I thought we wouldn't see this fight. I thought we cut back and then like they'd be dead, and and my mask would like you know like and my mask would be talking to Super S, kind of like how it ended at the at the end. Of this I should call her Doe S because that's a real name. Um, and I thought like we'd get chunks of the suits missing. The fact that he blitzed through the suits and the people like nothing in like that terrifying form which was amazing and then just like just like the little touch of him like in the air like full on like <laughs> like you know full on shadow and then like obviously like he has he has like the upside down cross so when it's moving upside down and then like when it's when it's back there it's like a you know Christianity is like a symbol of like you know it's like it's like a traditional symbol of good and you know peace and like you know friendship everything like that I just thought it was like it was like it's little way of going by the way like this terrifying monster he's a good guy he, he's on our side and you're like this guy's a good guy and like just that touch and when she goes for the whip like that was probably my favorite panel and he blocks it and he's charging I'm like oh <laughs> it was real. I, ugh, it was so great. I loved it. It was like it was. It was like such a shock. I don't. I can't even think of a beatdown that's been that like bad in a long time. It isn't a beatdown. It's like it is swift and it's it's a massacre. I, 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 the closest thing I can think off the top of my head was like when Garo fought against the heroes originally, and he just like destroyed Moomin Rider. But even that, like. He didn't kill anyone though, and that's still the thing about Goro, is he hasn't actually killed any heroes. He's he's we had it wrong. He tore off uh, Blue Fire's arm, but still. That's a discussion for another day in any case, but damn my mask. And you know what? I think the ending, like, as impressive as all the feats were of speed and strength and you know, all this, the real kind of impressive thing is just like the like, you know the fact of how terrifying my mask is is shown in the last like couple pages when Does has just given up and she's me like no 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 wait wait I surrender you I can't beat you you are uh, I'll do anything my master and my mask and she's sweating and she's terrified of the monster that has approached her and what I say is terrif- I say that's terrifying more than anything. I think that is literally the worst because monsters, when they transform, and I assume Does is not a, ma a natural monster because, like, mostly because of the dominatrix thing that she's got going on. Uh, you know, like, a lot of natural monsters are, like, Deep Sea King and, uh, True Blood, um, or Pure Blood, mate, no, True Blood's a series. Uh, Pure Blood is, like, you know, they, they have, like, more traditional monster things going on, but obviously no one, like, dominate, like, you know, kind of just, like, let animals transformed, really. Whereas, uh, Does is more of a, like, you know, Dominatrix is a thing that's been introduced because of humanity, like, you know, uh, BDSM kind of stuff. So the fact that not only did he make her cower down, but the fact he literally made a monster who, from what I can tell, monsters are obviously, like, you know, they're just really prideful and arrogant, they think they're the best, and they're vile, they're basically kind of just evil. Like, they're, they're just bad. The fact that he made someone like her, whose whole thing is to be like on top of people, in charge of people, dominating people, immediately beg for her life and surrender and say, "You're my master. You, I, I, you, I serve you now." Like that shows how deadly a my mask is. I think that is pretty much the best thing. The only kind of character I can think of who's done that, not even Saitama's really done that, because obviously Saitama, you know, everyone underestimates him and then he just one punches them and that's that's his thing. Um no one's really been like that terrified of Sa apart from maybe Carnage Kabuto. Uh different stuff is Orochi. Orochi is the only kind of character I can think of similar when he like when he eat when he ate uh, a awakened cockroach, and everyone was like, "Not messing with this guy." Even even the executive, uh, Black Sperm, I think it is. He was like, "All right, I'll listen to what you got to say." Like he showed his power right then and there. So 
in a sense, his intimidation level is up there with Orochi. That's kind of the closest I can compare them. I don't want to. I don't want to compare them because I'll sound like an idiot if I'm like, "My mask is like a Rochi. <laughs> but you know, like that's that's how good I think that is. Like the 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 quality. And of course, my mask obviously had like his fingers like around her like face. So either and like to give him the like if it was at the bare minimum, he either crushed her neck I or her face with his hand or with those two fingers. That's terrifying stuff. But my god, was it amazing. It was so cool. It was, it was great. It was. It, I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. But yes, I, I, I thought I loved this chapter. It was like, oh my god, in the best way. Mostly because it caught me off, mostly. <laughs> mostly because it caught me off guard. And I do. And I like that. And obviously I was wrong. And I, with a series like this, I love being wrong. Because then it surprises me with all the best stuff I can see. But what did you think of this chapter? I'd love, I'd genuinely love to know. Um... Your opinions, your thoughts on the My Mask, Pig God, Swordsman, the OS, everything like that. Let me know it all in the comments. We'll have a little chat about it. Um, you know, uh, if you like this review and this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. This is kind of on time for me. Like, no, this is this is a miracle of a being on time for me. Just the day after. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll I'll see you later. Cool. Thanks, guys.